everybody. How are you doing? It's Teacher Sharon. It's time for Bible time. And you're at my house. And we are going to talk about one more thing that God created. And the first thing today, you know, we've been talking about creation. And you remember all the things God created? Animals, birds, all that stuff. Well, today we're talking about the first baby. Yeah, I want you to really pay attention to the story. Find out about who the first baby was. And is it a boy or is it a girl? And what's the baby's name? Okay, so when we do the story time with the Bible lesson, I want you to listen who the first baby is, okay? And we're talking about Adam and Eve. Do you remember they're the first people? Adam's first man and Eve's the first woman. Okay, and then now we're gonna learn about the first baby. But we're gonna sing a song about how God made me. And in that song, you gotta have fingers, toes, these are your knuckles, nose, and then your hip bones and your chin. Okay, so you ready to sing? God made me. job I love that song God's a wonderful wonderful creator and he made you you know God knows your name and he knows what you're good at because he made you that's right now we're gonna do prayer time so do you remember my saying up in heaven God is listening to each word I say for he loves me and he listens to me when I pray so this is a time to be quiet and we're gonna talk to God so everybody shh, and listen to teacher Sharon Thank you, God, that you love us so much you created us, and you know, God, what's best for us. Help us to follow your plan, God. And we want your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we just pray for anyone who's sick that we know. God, will you touch them and make them better? And we pray all this in Jesus' name. And then what do we say? Amen. And God loves it when you pray when you talk to him and you can pray anytime anywhere and sometimes God will say yes to your prayers and sometimes no and sometimes wait God knows what's best that's right now we're gonna do Bible verse time there's our bell and I wonder if you've learned the Bible verse that we've been doing all month because this is the end of the month and we've been doing Romans 3 23 all have what sinned and fall short of the glory of God that means we've all sinned do you remember Adam and Eve they were the first ones to sin and we're their ancestors so we have have all got that want to sin in us but the good news is Jesus when we believe in him he will make us clean from our sin that's right so we're gonna do our Bible verse have a little song are you ready? All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. I wonder if you know, what's the difference between just making a mistake or sinning? Let's say you go get your coat and there's two different coats that look the same. They're both red and you grab one and you got the wrong coat. And then you tell your mommy later, this isn't my coat. Well, you didn't take the wrong coat on purpose. That was an accident. And sometimes we spill our, our food or our drink on the table, and you didn't mean to do that. It was just an accident. But when we do something and we are mad and we're angry and we're disobeying, that's when it's sin. Anything that we think 
or say or do breaks God's laws and makes him sad. And a lot of it has to do with our attitude, how we're thinking. Because when we get angry, we're much more apt to do something that God doesn't like, right? All right, so we're going to sing the Flippy Flapper song. That's what I call it. Anyway, the, the song that says, my heart was dark with sin. Remember that one? And this is a great dancing song. So everybody, get up and we're going to dance. You ready? I love that song, don't you? And we're going to have our Bible lesson now. And today, the story is in the Action Bible. That's right. And so I'm going to read out of the Action Bible. Let's sing our Bible song, because you guys are so good with your letters and you're learning words. So let's do it. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's a book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E spells Bible. All of our stories come from the Bible, and we're in the book of Genesis, the very first book in the Bible. It talks about creation, and we learned last week about God made the first man and the first woman, Adam and Eve, and today will be the first baby. All right, let's hear. So everybody sit down and listen and zip your, zip your lip, unless I ask you a question. And then it's okay to talk. Ready? Adam and Eve are forced to have a new life outside the Garden of Eden. You remember why? Because they disobeyed God. And if you didn't learn that story, you can have your parents read about what they did and how they disobeyed God. Outside the Garden of Eden, the land is barren, hot and dry, weary, alone and frightened. Adam and Eve search until they find a place to make a home. And Eve says, remember how beautiful Eden was? If only. And Adam says, it's our own fault for disobeying God. But I will teach our children to obey and love God if I can help it. They won't make the same mistake we did. And in the picture here, you can see the first baby. This is Cain, and Cain is a boy. He was a gift from God. And then he got a little older, and they had another baby. And this was a boy, too. And his name's Abel. He was a gift from God, too. All children are a gift from God. God loves little children. And these two little boys grew up to be about your age in this picture, and they learned to do things like you do. I bet you know different colors. Like if I show you this, what color is that? Yeah. And they learned how to count, and I bet you know how to count. Want to count with me? One, two, three. Three, and you could count even more. Yep, they learned how to count. They learned how to pray, just like we prayed today, talking to God, and walk and talk. And they probably played games like you do and climb trees if it's nice weather, go outside and climb trees. Who taught them all those things? Their parents, that's right. And parents are the, are the boss in your house, right? Parents, mom and dad. And they teach you things like tell the truth and brush your teeth. They do everything to um, help you. They, they love you and they want you to have the best life. And they probably had to learn 
to pick up their toys and put them in their special toy place, just like you do. And they also learned how to plant food. They had to kind of work. You guys don't have to plant food, but maybe you have a garden that you can just make things in the summer. But they had to, because they didn't, couldn't go to a store. And they learned how to take care of animals. So Adam teaches their sons, Cain and Abel, about God. That's an important thing to know, and he teaches them. God made the earth and everything we have, says, says Dad Adam. And Abel, in this picture, says, God even gave me my little lamb. He loves animals. And Cain, he doesn't. In this picture, he says, sheep are dumb. He likes to do gardening. He likes to plant things. And Abel says to his dad, how can I thank God? And he tells him, when you're older, Abel, you can give God the best of your flock. And he told us we should make sacrifices to show our thankfulness. And you know what? I think Adam probably taught them something we all learn in the Bible. And this is more than one place. It says the number one rule. This is before the Bible was written when Adam was talking. But I'm sure that God really wanted him to teach his kids the most important number one rule is love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your strength. And the number two thing is love other people. That is all through the Bible that we should do that. And who should be first? God. Love God first and love other people second. That's right. As the boys grow to manhood, and we see a picture of, of them when they're big, big people. Abel plans for the day when he can give his thank offering to God. And I was just going to tell you, they have altars. Do you know what an altar is? Well, that's how they worship God. They didn't have a church where they could go. They, they made their own altars. And they had things. Or if you were here, we would build an altar. We would take some blocks of different colors and we would build an altar and we would make it tall and I'll show you a picture over here of my little altar and then that's how we would worship God outside since they didn't have a church and Abel wants to build a nice altar and he's gonna do it and Cain in this in this Bible says well if Abel gives God a sacrifice I'll have to give him one too. And he didn't have a very good attitude, did he? He has kind of a grumpy face. Abel chooses the best sheep to give God. And you can see in the, in the picture, he has a nice sheep. He looked at all of his sheep, and I have a sheep collection. So I was going to show you my sheep collection, because I love sheep too. And he didn't give God the smallest sheep or the weakest sheep or a sheep that didn't feel very good or was sick or an old sheep that was going to die. He gave him the best sheep because he wanted to give the best to God because that's the number one rule. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give God the best, the best you have. So Cain, you can see in his, in the picture that he, in his face, he doesn't think it's a great idea. <sighs> he brings vegetables, but that's not what God wanted. Cain did not obey God or follow God's plan. He thought, oh, this is good enough. <sighs> he just didn't have a good attitude, did he? God is, God is displeased with Cain's grudging spirit, or I would say he's grumpy. God warned Cain about his sin. God wanted Cain to change and repent. God gives us chances when we're not doing the right thing to change our mind, to do the right thing. Repent is the word for change. And to follow God's plan. God wanted Cain to, um, he, oh, God warned Cain that sin, the grumpiness, would become his master instead of God unless he changed. 
and God is pleased with Abel's gift, but Cain's, he was not pleased. Cain did not understand. Why is God happy with, with his brothers and not me? I bet he said this. It's not fair. You ever say that? But you see the difference? The difference in the attitude of wanting to please God, Abel, and giving God the best, and Cain, oh, do I have to? Oh, you know, just a bad attitude. There's a difference there. And which one does God like? Now, we're not going to talk about the rest of the story of Cain and Abel, but you could have your parents tell you what happened next. We're just focusing on their attitude, how they're thinking, and how they're worshiping God. So, we're going to sing a song because we we have a choice, too. We can, we can worship God with a happy spirit, and when we ask Jesus into our life by saying a prayer and believing in him, he gives us a light inside of us, a happiness. And our song here is This Little Light of Mine. You guys know that song? Okay, we're going to sing that. job. Isn't that a great song? So that's the end of Bible time and we learned about the first baby and his name was what? Remember? Cain and then he had a brother named Abel. That's right and I hope you have a great week and keep your happy face on and let your light shine. Okay? Bye-bye.